Sure, that's right. And thanks to family and friends, Brittany Cumbie has been able to start therapy for her four year old autistic son, Kanan, who had not been able to speak since he was born. But again, the unfortunate news three people are dead after a passenger vehicle collided with two tractor trailers. How it all happened, who's at fault, we have no idea right now. As I mentioned, a child has been transported to Children's Hospital. Good evening, Sherry. A quite bizarre scene here in Gate City. I'm going to take a step out of the way. Police are now wrapping up this scene, but just moments ago, they they were taking away a body. That body was uh, a fiance of a woman here. Believe it or not, buying a roof and getting a free gun is actually legal. I'm gonna just kind of show you a juxtaposition here of where we are. The cleanup is good here, but if you look just beyond this fence that officials have put up, you still see the express oil that is still damaged. In areas like Woodlawn, Inslee, and right here in West End, an extra set of watchful eyes could help stop crime. Good evening, I'm Stefan Dingle. One Helena police officer reaches in and grabs a five foot long snake with his bare hands. We'll have that compelling video coming up tonight at 10. Of course, in Alabama, we don't need socks either. <laughs> Out of the back of his car, Zach Blinkensop puts on his roofing gear as part of his small business he started a year ago. Along with his buddy Chris, <laughs> who was looking for a boost in business on the 4th of July holiday. Woo! America, baby! We don't have a huge budget right now for marketing. So what can we do that's super cheap, that might go viral, and, and this was it? I'm not here to talk to you about roofing. Rifle. I'm here to talk to you about AR-15 rifles. If you sign up for a new roof with Digital Roofing Innovations, you're going to get you a free AR-15 rifle after we complete the roof. So I went to Walmart. I found a women's size 11 for those shorts. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they had some cool little props and stuff. Believe it or not, buying a roof and getting a free gun is actually legal. In fact, when they give you a voucher after your roof is complete, you have to go through all the same background checks as if you were buying your own gun. I posted this in uh, extremely uh, conservative uh, Facebook groups. Cons extremely uh, liberal uh, Facebook groups because I, I knew it would invoke emotion. Including flirty comments from women. I'm single. <laughs> Contemplating what's the better incentive, the free gun or the roof repair by this former Navy veteran. But not everybody was too pleased with the viral ad. People are, are very concerned with us promoting violence, you know, drinking uh, with firearms. Uh, to kind of clear that up, nobody was drinking um, while we're shooting guns. You, you get to choose what you believe in. And, uh, you know, if people don't like it, then we don't care. Um, we're just going to continue to do our business and uh, take care of our customers. Missing meds and a rude awakening. That's how Latasha Cook describes her experience at the Walgreens Pharmacy in Bessemer. My insurance paid for a medication that I never received. A location she's gone to for years allegedly gave her meds to another person. The um, employees in the pharmacy informed my doctor that I had called the prescription in on June the 30th and I came on July the 1st to pick up that medication. But she says that's not what happened. Pharmacists said someone picked it up via drive through and It was in a vehicle that they could not see. And it was a narcotic that um, was prescribed to me. Although outraged, Latasha says she's just happy she wasn't in dire need of this potentially life saving medication. And about a year and a half ago, um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I am a breast cancer survivor, and I've had some other surgeries along with that. But her biggest concern is not the actual medicine, it's the potential culprit. They have my full name and my address and my telephone number that is listed on this pill bottle. However, Latasha did hear back from Walgreens District Management who offered to replace the meds, but she wants an investigation. Anytime that I've ever went to another pharmacist outside of Walgreens, if it's a narcotic, I've always had to show my identification and sign. They wouldn't even discuss with me the process of how my medication left the pharmacy. Okay, I'm rolling really yeah, you roll it. Tamika Moore is a single mother. Sticking in there. Baking her self proclaimed famous cookies with her daughter Talania. But I really have to watch her around the red visit cookies. They call each other best friends. They do everything together, including a short trip to the dollar store last Thursday. This is my car. We was literally just inside of a tornado. An unexpected encounter that almost took two best friends away from each other. <laughs> Y'all all right? And the dirt just circulating around the car, just going in circle like a washing machine. And all I can do is hold on to the steering wheel and put my feet 
on the break and just pray. By the time I got right here, that's when a tornado grabbed my car. How I end up all the way over there, that's a different story that I can't tell. Tamika's calling it a sign of God's grace over her only because child. She's my miracle. This after Tamika tried several times to have a child, she had a stillbirth. I named her Angel. Angel. It may have been the angel. She was little. She was one pound. That washed over her and her miracle baby during the tornado. I walked to the nearest church Sunday because that would mean something to me to know that we able to walk and we able to lift our hands up and praise God because he the one saved us. Not man, not friend, but God saved me and my baby through that storm and I thank him for it.